All right, so last week we saw um, Gary Russell Jr. and Chris Colbert get into it. Interesting. Um, I feel like this, man. From, from, from when I was growing up, you know what I mean? Whenever a guy lost, especially a guy with a name, he, he, he went and got that fight back, rematch. I feel like his beef is with Hector Garcia. At the same time, I feel like he trying to pick on Gary Russell, one, because Gary Russell has a name, two, smaller guy, three, he coming off a serious injury, and he know that. So to approach him, he was being disrespectful. You know what I mean? So when Gary said he was would smack him, or you know, he's his possibility I I can smack you with this good hand, even though it ain't good enough to fight, I I, I can smack a motherfucker with it right now, was his words. I felt that because you're trying to play with me because you know that just happened to me. But here's the difference in caliber of fighters. This is this is how you know you got a real fighter. When Gary Russell arm popped out of place, I actually seen it. I was there live. He continued to fight for for, for 12 fucking rounds. Hmm. When Colbert got put in some heat, no injuries at all, just was getting put in heat, had somebody jumping on his ass, he stated that he didn't even want to mix it up in the last two rounds or go for the win simply because he didn't want to be knocked out. So therefore, all that, all that, that you know, that, that tough guy shit, that shit is out the window for real, you know what I mean? And I understand he trying to, he trying to, you know, put it out there like it's past him, but it's not past you, it just happened. And Hector Garcia, we didn't know about, but now we know his name because he beat you up. You know what I mean? So we got to be real. You, you you need to go ahead and worry about Hector Garcia. Get the lick back. Leave my man Gary Russell alone. Gary Russell got shit to do. You know what I mean? He working with his brothers and shit like that. At the same time, trying to rehab the shoulder. So I feel like he called himself trying to be a bully. You know what I mean? And, that was, and, that, and to me, that was corny. And then he also mentioned the kid, Frank Martin. I feel like he mentioned Frank Martin because he know Frank Martin hasn't been in there with the top tier guys yet. So let me jump on him before his flame get too big. That's what he called himself doing. But then Frank Martin possibly, possibly hurt him too. You know what I'm saying? He got to be careful. And, and that that always been my issue with that kid. I like him. I like him as a fighter. But then I don't like him because everything around him is a gimmick. You call yourself Lil b -Hop. To be for real, who want to be like Bernard Hopkins? Like, you know what I'm saying? You call yourself Lil b -Hop. Then you call yourself Primetime behind Deion Sanders. Like, get your own nickname. Like, you from Brooklyn. Make Brooklyn proud. Like, call yourself something. Like, don't call yourself Lil b -Hop, then Deion Sanders. All these gimmicks, you coming to the ring with a football, your hair color blue and green. Like, you just be doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Get your lick back, man. Hector Garcia. That's, that should be the only fight. Then he also stated that the only way he would fight a rematch with Hector Garcia if he had a belt. But but he didn't beat you for a belt. So what are we talking about? Like, he ma he not making no sense. And he always trying to sound smarter than everybody. But you not making no sense. The truth is, um, PBC saw you for the, for the gimmick. They saw the gimmick come out. You lost. I mean, now you try and get your name back in the mentions. Here we go. But the best way to do that is with a rematch. People will, will respect you more if you went in there and beat the guy that beat you. You know what I'm saying? Do you think he can rebound? Because he looked a little heavy when I, uh, when we saw him in the interview with Gary. I mean, anybody could rebound, but you got to totally believe in yourself. You got to totally believe in, in what it is that you're doing. I think he's more he's more caught up in trying to be a star. So crazy thing is we might see him with his own YouTube channel. He might start acting like Jake Paul and them, like, I mean, or he might, we might see him in a movie or some shit before he really get himself back together, cause he run, he's trying to run a gimmick. He even running around behind under Danny, like, 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 what, you, what's the, what Danny gonna do for you? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he he not thinking, he not using his head, like he trying to use other people's energy and turn it into his. Like, it don't work like that. And I know him and Danny was cool, or or are you know they cool at this moment, and they and they was cool before all this shit came out. But he gotta stop worrying about what other people are doing. And, and get himself back together because I heard he even it was an interview he did where he even was saying Shakur ain't had no dog but how you gonna say that but then you go out there and act like a cat like right away too like you know what I'm saying you, that, that kid Hector Garcia was beating him up like really beating him up punching him from corner to corner and he he clearly don't want no trouble with him you know what I'm saying so if you wanna make your name and get your name back I mean you know what I mean go in there and beat the guy that beat you you know what I mean